Waking up in the morning, thinking about so many things. Tell you how I'm doing. Not well, bitch. Pass the holy whore. Jealous of what? Your ugly leather pants? Should I bow to you? Okay. Damn it. Bad weather, tornado, spin the truth, destroy. <laughs> Hello, Burberry Troop. Welcome back. I'm the real Andy of Burberry Heels. And guys, it is time to keep talking about Erica Jane and the Erica Jane show because apparently she is going from one meltdown to the next one. And it is not, there is nothing stopping this girl anymore. Anyways, but before we get into it, like always, do not forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Do it right now. It really helps me a lot. If you are new here and you want to join the Burberry Troop, subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Hit the notification bell, guys. And let's talk about this mess. Guys, Erica Jane, apparently, she is in this huge denial, and she is just, I think she doesn't understand how far all of these things that she is doing can really go, okay? A couple of days ago, she went to, through another meltdown, basically responding to every single fan on Twitter, okay? She was, but in the like rudest way possible. I mean, she was calling people whores and bitch and shut up and fuck you. And I like big dicks and like, you know, he was like, she was like responding to everything. Okay. And even though I understand that it could be overwhelming the amount of hate that she is receiving, I think she will also need to on like sit down and understand why is she receiving the amount of hate that she is receiving. Okay. These are not easy allegations. And what Erica should be doing right now is if you want to defend yourself, defend yourself with proof. Defend yourself with receipts. Say something that make us believe or at least starting to believe that you are innocent. But that's not what she's doing at all. She keeps acting like victim, victim, victim all the time and not acknowledging anything else. Even in the show, one of the biggest backlash right now, well, a part of like the whole thing, the whole, you know, stealing from orphans and widows, is that she hasn't mentioned the, the victims at all, like nothing, okay? This whole time, it has been all about poor me, poor me. I can't believe this is happening to me. I mean, this is horrible. And this is even before the lawsuit to Alleged, like supposedly you know start hitting and like i mean this is like it's they already know like on the show you know that tom was taking all this money from the victim so she already even if she didn't know what was going on at that point she already know well what, what is going on and she doesn't acknowledge the victims at all. She doesn't say anything. And people are really, really not happy about it. Okay. She went from that meltdown to the next one. Okay. Where basically, uh, this is a source close to Erica. And it, they're saying that Erica knew that, that her divorce was going to get messy. But she never imagined she'd be financially responsible for Tom's actions. Okay, we're playing here like she's innocent, okay? She definitely seems to be in panic mode. The walls are closing in on her. People are, they don't want to work with Erica anymore. A little tea here, like, you know, the glam squad is officially gone. Apparently, Mikey is not even working with her anymore. So, like, no one wants, I mean, Rihanna dropped her. She's losing deal like no one wants anything to do with erica at this point and her friends whoever is her friend still uh thinks she could be in denial about what could happen Frisian time is a possibility and erica might be smiling on the outside but she could lose it all <sighs> guys i mean at this point it's like I, I mean, are we supposed to feel bad for her? Because, look, the allegations are stopping um, being allegations to become a reality, okay? She has just been sued for over $25 million, okay? 
That's the amount of money the lawyers believe she received from Tom Girardi, all right? She was receiving money from the California Lottery or something like that, that it was supposed to go to schools and this whole thing. And she has been receiving that money from since 2012. And she's gonna still going to be receiving it, I feel, till like 2025. Like, honestly. And then the whole point for the people who are saying, like, she didn't know anything. She is a poor victim. She knows now. We are very past the point that she didn't know anything, okay? She knows now and she's still fighting the system. She's still, you know, that... Um, uh, the lawyers request her financial information. They want to go through her accounts. They want to know to go through everything. And she, uh, like, allegedly, supposedly said the other day, like, I'm more than happy to collaborate, you know? Well, she hasn't produced anything. She hasn't given anything to the lawyers. No receipts, no, absolutely nothing, okay? Why? She hasn't give them access to the, her accounts. Why? What is she hiding so badly that she doesn't want people to go through her stuff? If you don't have anything to hide, why are you so afraid of Ronald Richards? Okay? I'm so sorry, but at this point, if, if, remember when she says, she said, the only thing that I have is my name. If your name is so important to you over money and over starting from zero, I will be the first one calling Ronald Richards being like, you know what? Let's, let's keep this moving. Uh, come here. Let's make a list of all my things. Sell everything. I don't give a fuck about any of this. Just take it. You know, uh, I'm going to be friends of this guy because Tom, it's all Thomas fault, not my fault, but I'm still going to do it. You know? What what uh, Karen Huger did when Ray was hit with this with those uh, taxes things that he had to pay, she went on and used her own money and paid for it, you know. And it is what it is, okay. So, like, she needs to understand that this is so more and so much bigger than a little divorce, okay. Even if she didn't know, I will say it again, she know now. And she is not showing any remorse or any uh, signs that she actually care for the victims. The families from the, from the people who died on the airplane crash, okay? The, uh, the Rio Gomez family. All the people, all the victims that are suffering and waiting for their money. There are a bunch of GoFundMe pages from all these people. They, they're uh, people who are looking for new homes, people who are, you know, looking for money for a, a hospital. Like, it is a bunch of things out there. Why she's not saying anything about that, but it's only about what she needs, about her money, about the, the, the money that she is entitled from her mansion, about how she's not going to give back the diamonds or the designing clothes. And then you expect us to feel bad for you and to say, oh, poor Erica, she is so innocent. Give me a break. I mean, honestly, give me a break. Like, it doesn't make any sense, right? Anyways, this is just the beginning. I feel that Erica Jane, I don't, maybe she is in such denial that this is going to end up so bad. Maybe that part is true. That she doesn't, I mean, I think that she thought that, she, that this was going to be an easy thing, you know. He sent me the money, I hide the money, then all the fall goes to Tom. It is what it is. In a year or so, I'm magically rich again. But it wasn't this, it, it's not going to be that easy. And now she's panicking, you know, and she doesn't know how to deal with this whole situation. Maybe that's a possibility too. I don't know. Anyways, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And like always, don't forget to like this video, share this video, subscribe to my YouTube channel, guys. And I'll see you around. See ya. Bye.